Shalom, and welcome back to B'nai Noach Academy, Thoughts on the Torah. Please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And may I ask you please to encourage others to subscribe and most importantly to share this wisdom and inspiration with friends and family. If you look at the book of Exodus, chapter 24, verse 13, it's in the midst of describing what happened after the revelation of Mount Sinai. When God instructs Moses to come up to the mountain to spend time with him and then to receive the tablets, the tablets that will contain the inscription of the Ten Commandments written by God himself. And it gives him very, very precise instructions. And in verse 13, it says that Moses and his attendant Joshua stood up, they rose, and they went up to the top of the mountain. So you see that Joshua becomes significant in this process of receiving the tablets. Why? What is significant about Yehoshua? Notice that it's not Moses' brother, Aaron, who played a key role in the exodus of Egypt, in the ten plagues, and even in the um, receiving of the Torah, preparing the people, and so on. Here. Is Joshua. Why? Why him? And why does the Torah share this information with us? The fact that he had an attendant, maybe he had him there all the time. But the Torah makes it a point to let us know, to advise us of this, specifically in the, when it comes to receiving the Torah, to now taking possession of the Torah, to connecting to it. And the lesson for it is very obvious, very basic, but most fundamental. You see, the sages actually point out that what was the special merit of Joshua? In other words, what was significant about him? Not so much the fact that he was a scholar. Maybe he wasn't the greatest scholar. Maybe he didn't have the sharpest mind amongst the scholars, perhaps. But he had something, he had a key ingredient that is necessary for one to be a student of the Torah, to be a devoted servant of God. And that is, he, he had absolute devotion and dedication. He was, as the Torah describes elsewhere, he was the one that, quote, never left the tent. He never left the presence of Moses. Always was there, always was ready to be at his service. In other words, at the service of the people. And he even merited as a result, to be the successor of Moses, to be the one to actually implement the promise of bringing the Jews to the Holy Land and making it a Holy Land. Until the time that they entered, it was not a Holy Land. It was destined to be a Holy Land, but it was actually the exact opposite until the Jews came there and conquered it. So this tells us something very, very important. Sometimes we may feel like insignificant, compared to someone else who perhaps has, quote, a better mind or better understanding or maybe even somebody who has emotions that are far better than ours and is able to express their love to God. And it seems like we're insignificant. What place do we have in serving God? What place do we have in helping others? And here you see from Joshua, it's not about, it's not so much about the potential that you possess as much as it is about how much you give, how much devotion and dedication you exert. And this we learn from this verse. And this is why God shares this information with us.